what's up y'all so crystal here and we're going through a time right now where um you know a lot is going on in this world and sometimes it can feel very overwhelming right but i am going through a time where you know i'm going i like something is happening in my life god is doing something in my life he's he's transforming me he's renewing me he is trans like i'm going through a transition and it's a very awkward time it feels like mm, you know and so many mixed emotions um one thing i am not is confused but i'm just like okay lord what do i do you know what do i do next or how do i do it or i'm definitely learning how to seek god more during this time and y'all honestly i feel like i've been going through transition for the past year um but I feel it heavily again, and I have to go with the flow of it all. So with the things that we're going through in this world, it can make you feel like you're not free to do what you know you're supposed to be doing. And this was going to be my topic in my clubhouse room um, this past Friday. And I, I allowed myself to get distracted by what was going on around me and I rescheduled my room. So I feel like I need to get this out. But anyway, um, I just want you to know as I am led by the Holy Spirit and just going with the flow of God that you are free to do what God has called you to do. Yes, you're free to do that. And in your freedom, it means that you're moving. And the movement is not going to be comfortable. It's just like when you're learning to do something new. It's just like when you are implementing a new routine or you're trying to lose weight or get into exercise and you've never really done it before. Your brain is just like, girl, what are we doing? Um and you just have to keep pushing through it until you get the desired results, until your mind and your body and everything, your soul, your spirit connects and just like, okay, we're doing this, okay? You have to push through that discomfort and that is where I am. But, you know, God keeps, you know, letting me know, like, Crystal, you're free. You're free. You're free to do what I am telling you to do. Um, and some of the scriptures that have, you know, come up in my mind, not in my mind, but, you know, I'm led to read, to read is, um, it's John, hold on, it's John, I even have some of it up right here because I was reading it. Um, I'm going to come back to this. I, it's Isaiah 42. It's also John, um, excuse me, y'all. I'll be doing this like I'm, you know, talking to a homegirl. John, what is it? Got it bookmarked. But anyway, it's, I should know this, but it's who the sun sets free is truly free indeed. Um, but it's in John, Why? and it's not coming to me, y'all. I've been reading the scripture and reading the scripture. Let me see, because I know I have it. Six. Pouring the organic into a vessel of fragments. Nope. That's not it. Anyway, it's in John. Um, I'll put it in the description box. But it's who the sun sets free is truly free indeed. And then also Isaiah... 42 uh, verse 
pretty much five through nine. And this is the AMPC version. It says, thus says God the Lord, he who created the heavens and stretched them forth, he who spread abroad the earth and that which comes out of it, he who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. I, the Lord, have called you for a righteous purpose and in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and will keep you. I will give you for a covenant to the people, for a light to the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who sit in darkness from the prison. I am the Lord that is my name and my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And um, it's another scripture, Isaiah, y'all, Isaiah is powerful when you're going through, you know, change in your life, and you know it's God leading you to this change, because it talks, you know, it's about, it's the, it's the truth about the children of Israel and, um, you know, he is like telling them, you know, forget your past. He says that multiple times, forget your past, like forget the form of things. I'm doing something new. I'm doing that something new. Do you not perceive it? Um, and it's throughout Isaiah and even going back to verse four, he will not fail or become weak or be crushed and discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the islands and coastal regions shall wait hopefully for him and expect his direction and law. Now that verse is important too, because all of this stuff that is going on around us in the world, I mean, you know, the Bible is going to be fulfilled. And anyway, let me not even go there. But I read Isaiah 42, 5 through 9 because... You know, the Holy Spirit is like, you're free to do this. What I've called you to do may feel uncomfortable, but it's because you are not of this world. So everything that is going on around you, maybe the old way you used to do things and the way you used to respond to things is not, you know, of my righteousness. Okay. It wasn't right. And now, um... You know, I've called you for a righteous purpose and that is not going to be comfortable and you have to keep pushing, but know that who the sun sets free is free indeed. Freedom is not always comfortable. And especially in this world when people are so critical and judgmental and they have everything to say about everything. Y'all, if y'all haven't seen them Instagram videos, y'all always have something, something thing <laughs> there's a video out there that you know y'all always got something something <laughs> out so i you know i've been dealing with some things that is just like you know people are always gonna have something to say but crystal you are free to do what you know god is calling you to do you don't need nobody to validate it no more because who the sun sets free is free indeed. You don't need approval anymore because who the sun sets free is free indeed. You don't need to go seek out the opinions of man because who the sun sets free is free indeed. You don't need to um, go compare and look at what everybody is doing because who the sun sets free is free indeed. So if God is calling you to something like brand new. It's a new industry. It's a new business. It's a new group of people. It's a new environment. It is, um, you know, you coming out of something, addiction, the old habits. It's all going to be something new. And what he's saying is forget those things. It's time for you to let that stuff go. We're not handling that anymore. That's what verse 9 says, Isaiah 42. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And, um, you know, I read that verse, and I'm just like, Lord, I thank you. Because when the, when, like, he, you know, the Holy Spirit is led me into things or, you know, I'm spending time with God and hear certain things about my life and what I should be doing right now. I'm just like, wait a minute, is this you, Lord? You know, I got to be sure because <laughs> he will tell you if you're seeking him, 
about these new things. It's up to you to feel that, you know, receive that freedom in Christ and in who you are and say, okay, I'm free to go do this. And I had this, um, this revelation after I did my first clubhouse room on July 1st. And this is new territory for me. You know, I was like on my nerves. I was like, oh my God, I'm going in on this platform that has over 100,000 people. And I'm launching my own room. I'm moderating it. I'm not going to be a guest on it or not. This is my room. Like I have to step, I'm stepping up on the stage and moderating a room. And it's in an industry that I honestly have always desired to be in. I just didn't, you know, know really how and for, you know, to be led to do this in this way. It's very different from what this industry looks like. Um, it's not normal. It's not a normal thing. Nobody is talking about, you know, the things that I'm talking about in this room in this way for this industry. And I'm just like, OK, so, you know, I I had to get out of my formal ways of feeling like I needed to go find somebody that's in this industry and hear what they have to say or go compare myself or, um, you know, oh, let me go talk to this person because they seem like they have a lot of experience. I don't want to talk like I'm wrong. No, God used Moses. And you know, Moses was like, Lord, I got a stuttering problem, okay? How you want me to go talk to these people? Like, I stutter. <laughs> he he was making excuses. And we, when God calls you to do something, he don't care. He don't care. You, you hear me? He doesn't care. He wants you to go cross over into this, what he's telling you to do. And if it's foreign, you go. Go in that foreign land and look foreign, okay? Because he don't care. It's all about the obedience. It's all about accepting the call. It's all about knowing that I'm free to do this. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you know of me. If you knew me in my in my past, my former things, then that means you're my past and my former things. So you don't even matter no more. Just you know, you want to catch on to this train of what God is doing, then come on. But you're former for me, so. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm crossing on over in, into this, to what God is calling me to do. So I wanted to share that because, you know, you may be going through a time where transition may feel like so, sometimes people don't even know that's what they're going through and they respond in the wrong way because people are not understanding or those people that they thought you know was gonna blah 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 is silent or those people that they thought was gonna understand is like no you shouldn't go do that i don't understand oh i think you should be doing this or be, they become distractions and be like oh come no come join us over here or, oh, I help you. Oh, I support you. You know, and it, it's not even genuine. You know, they may just want to, oh, she doing something new. Let me catch on to this while she, you know, early in it. And they just come into just come be a leech, you know. So the the formal things got to be the former things. You're going to have to, you're going to have to take this transition and this call and run with it and be free indeed and be free in it and expect the uncomfortable expect to lose things and people and expect to um the process of it all and the timing of it all expect it to look different because Accepting what God has called you to do is not going to look the way that everybody else is doing it, the way the world is doing it. If you're called to a specific industry like me now, the beauty industry, which I've never been in like that, and to take something that I was already doing and take it over into a new industry, it requires you to adapt. It requires um, me to start 
talking to these people that are probably coming to me and be like, girl, where your beauty business at? And I don't necessarily have that right now, but I got to go talk to these people over here for a reason. You know, my God's righteous purpose, like he said, he, I, the Lord have called you for a righteous purchase purpose in righteousness i will take you by the hand and i will keep you i will give you for a covenant to the people for a light to the nations the nations is the industries the nations is the clients the nations is um i mean it is what it is whatever industry god is calling you to or whoever the people is that God is calling you to, that's the nations because there are always going to be people that are going to be impacted in some way when God calls you to something and he wants to, to you to give him glory and he wants you to shine that light on top of that hill. He wants you to be the light in people's darkness. And the thing with the world today, especially when it comes to the beauty industry or beauty period, you know, so many social media has caused so much vanity like everybody's life looks so beautiful and so organized and so um um successful and abundant and it's all vanity because a lot of it is fake a lot of people have turned to social media for their validation so they go you know do their makeup beautifully and post it on social to get approved, to fill those voids, to be validated. And, um, you know, people who approve of them through likes and comments and followers and all of that is fake because 99% of these people that are following you are not real. You know, you don't know them. There's no emotional connection. But because social has come a thing where, you know, people go to that for um, to feel beautiful, to feel accepted, to feel validated and approved of, to deal with their own rejection and all of this stuff, it um, it covers up and it distracts people from what is really real. It covers up. And, and it distracts people from healing like they should or, you know, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of things that is going on right now. And the beauty industry is definitely one of those because um, people are using the makeup to cover up a lot of things, um, you know, to cover up their flaws and their blemishes and, you know, them those bags and to cover up even with hair and you know, just a lot of different things that is being covered up and they just trying to put a band-aid over it and it's never healing in the way that it needs to. So, you know, I'm called to fix that. And I'm 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 free to do that because the Holy Spirit has called me to that. Has called me to do that. So You have to be mindful of the devil sneaking in and trying to snatch that away from you by saying things to you or he may send people or stuff might just become chaotic in your life. An old boo might show up. Something familiar will try to show up to sabotage what God is doing. And y'all, that has happened to me. Like, there are some, because, I ain't gonna lie, like, I've had a hard, like, it, I ain't gonna say hard time, but it's been kind of challenging to accept what God is doing. And, you know, everybody acts like it's not, and it's and they handle it in different ways. But you got to have tough skin when you're doing something for in obedience, because that's not what this, you know, the world is of a way that is like, I'm free to do whatever I want to do. Freedom for people that love the Lord looks very different. So we're not free to necessarily do whatever we want to do. But we have to accept the, the freedom that God gives us, if y'all understand that. And it's good 
but because the world looks the way that it does and does things it's very tempting temptation is that thing that'll make you fall because it's like i could just go over here and do this and sit back and chill and just stay where i am in the familiar and not go branch out and do something different and i won't lie like some old things familiar things have tried to come my way and it's familiar people that presented before me people that i love and i trust and you know used to hang with and do things with in the past and i'm just like no uh -uh. i'm not falling for this okay y'all know how that be y'all turn to the drink drink <laughs> to relieve that stress and that you know frustration and it's still gonna be there it's temporary fulfillment and then it's still going to be there. And those things have tried to come up. And then I may slip, turn back to it and be like, no, this is not what I want. Because it don't do the same thing it used to do for me. So you have to be strong enough, be bold and courageous. Um, You know, because the Lord is with you. He's like, be bold and courageous because I am with you. You know, I'm carrying you. I got you. Just. You know, do what I'm calling you to do. Do what I'm calling you to do and be free in that. And that's the kind of freedom that I want. I don't want that freedom that I thought was good for me where I used to smoke and drink and be stressed out and turn to that, be, you know, begin drunk, all kind of stuff because I thought that was the freedom for me and that was the comfort for me, but that's not you know what i want anymore so y'all that 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 freedom is gonna be it hit different the freedom of god hits different who the sun sets free is free indeed meaning he has set you free from those former things and now you're really free indeed you're free for real so don't fall for the familiar okay do not fall for the familiar things. So, I accept my call to the beauty industry. And I accept what God is doing. And I'm saying to him, yes, have your way in my life. I don't want to make it hard for myself. I don't want to go through these, you know, times of disobedience where I start and I stop or I answer the call and then I hang up the phone no, I don't want that no more. Mm -mm. God, you call me for this purpose. I'm going to do it. You know, he said, I will take your hand and I will keep you. I will take your hand and I will keep you. So, you know, I, I know that as I walk into this new thing, God got my hand. Like he's holding my hand, walking me into it. How much freedom can you get out of that? You got the ho the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Hold, like guiding you into this new thing and that's what you want that's what you want that's what you want <laughs> so um just words of encouragement i'm gonna keep studying this i definitely have to get on to reading my bible more Especially for what is going on in these days, we have to seek God first before in his righteousness before we do anything else because the things, it can be very so It can be things that look good and be like, oh, the Lord want me to do this or he would want me to have this and it's not what he called you to. And then you go into it thinking that it was God and it really was a distraction from what you're really supposed to be doing. But because... It looks good, or it may be something that you desire, or it may fulfill the desire that you have, and you feel like, okay, this is the path I could take to get to that what I want, instead of saying, Lord, which way do you want me to go? How do you want me to do it? Um, to get this or do this, and you go the wrong way. That's not freedom. But you used your free will to choose the way you wanted to go. 
when God was like, no, I told you to go this way to get that. I didn't tell you to go that way to get that. And now look where you are and you back at zero. So I don't want that. I've had that so many times in my life because I had a desire or know that God called me to do something, but I'm like, okay, God, but I'm going to take this way and I'm going to go do it. Let me write out, you know, the plan and the way to do it and not go the way that you told me to go. So that is it. <laughs> that is it. I had a couple minutes, 25 minutes, but I got one baby sleeping over here and the other ones are at my visiting their grandparents so while i had peace and quiet y'all sometimes as a mom i don't even know what to do with it so i felt like this was a time for me to just get this out and encourage someone that you know when you are free you are truly free indeed and you have to say yes to that the freedom you have to say yes to it and just walk in it boldly confidently and be courageous in it, be strong in it, and it don't matter. People won't come at you and be like, what qualifies you? Not you. You aren't the one who qualified me. You know, God qualifies me to do this. He qualified me because he called me to it. So what you had to go through to get to this is not what I have to go through to get to this. What you had to go through to get to that is not what I have to go through to get to that. Because I serve a God. <laughs> who sits high and looks low so um yeah i'm out y'all follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram crystal clayton underscore tiktok that's instagram and tiktok is crystal underscore clayton um my clubhouse room is called beauty for ashes it's a healing room for beauty entrepreneurs and we talk about all different topics whatever you know i'm led to talk about um and it's really truly coming from my own story my own experience as a um startup beauty entrepreneur i'm not I, honestly, I'm I'm going to stop saying I'm not successful in it because see, that's what it looks like. I'm basing my success of my beauty business on what other people's businesses look like. And that's not even what it's about because success looks different for everybody. Success is not always the millions and billions of dollars from our, you know, selling the beauty business or, um, having it you know in stores those are goals to me yes and that is a part of success but it looks different so let me stop saying that I'm not successful because if I see how easy that is because I'm comparing what success looks like to other people's and I'm speaking words out of my mouth that will manifest if I keep saying well, I'm not successful I'm not a successful beat entrepreneur and I'm not even saying it in the way that I'm saying it, but it's come because it's coming out of my mouth. It's words and words have life. So I am a beauty entrepreneur and I am successful in my startup phase. Um, and I will continue to grow in it. And I just have experience from when I first started the business to now where I learned a lot about things that I didn't have in place. And and it made me dig deeper to see why I didn't have those things in place. And mainly financially, um, not having the right mindset and stuff like that. But life is such a, a gosh, a learning lesson. It's such a process. It's such a journey. And where would we be without the journey? because that's where the growth com comes from. Um, so when we try to skip the process, we don't learn what we need to learn. We don't do what we need to do. Then we find ourselves back at square one, having to go through, you know, repeat the class in a sense um, to get the grade that we need to pass. So that is where I am with everything. And I'm gonna go y'all. I'm going to go. I feel like I was all over the place with this, but y'all, I hope y'all understand who the sun sets free is free indeed. And the freedom is not going to look 
how everybody else's freedom look because most of it is fake anyway um the freedom is in you know that i can do what god has called me to do freely freely with that shield of faith on all right i'm out y'all for real <laughs>